Welcome to another episode of Disney Dust. In this episode, we're going to be reviewing the seventh episode of the Disney Gallery, The Mandalorian series. And in this episode, we talk about score or music. Now, I believe the directors uh, don't know enough quite about sound and music to talk about it in detail. They did bring in Ludwig Goransson, who did the music and the scoring for the Mandalorian series. Um, but aside from saying that they, they wanted something different, uh, you know, they didn't really express how they wanted it different. And aside from saying that and saying that they liked his music, the, they didn't really explore uh, how they worked with him in terms of creating, you know, like did he sit with them to talk about the emotions needed through uh, the scenes, you know, and how to bring out the scenes more, especially since they talked about the fact that he's masked you know, music definitely lends to that. So did they, I want to know a little bit more about watching this episode, maybe want to know a little bit more about how they uh, discuss that with him. In any case, the episode brings us into Ludwig's studio, where he introduces us to the various instruments he used to create the music for show. And in the same way they created the props and sets, um, he took 70s organic instruments and added con contemporary special effects and filters to their sounds, creating something new altogether. Very much the same way uh, how Star Wars feels uh, in terms of, you know, aesthetically as well. You have like a, an 80s or 70s take on the future and it's maintained that look and feel throughout the series. So in the same way, the sound is designed that way and I think it's just brilliant. It just makes it so special that way. Um, it's also special to see him acknowledge how he could never do what John Williams has done uh, you know, there, there is musicians, uh, I've talked to different musician friends, and there's a level of artistry and mastery that, that I don't even comprehend. Um, perhaps I should listen more. We all should listen more to John Williams' music to understand that. But, you know, here Ludwig gives uh, respect and acknowledgement to the artistry that John Williams puts into designing his music. He also mentions that John Williams experiments as well. Uh, and so that has inspired him in the same way in terms of putting his own mark to um, the IP. Now, it all makes me want to download um, the soundtrack and for me to explore it in more detail. Also, to rewatch the series now as we near the end of this documentary series as well. So that's what I plan to do once I uh, watch the final episode that will be coming out. Can't wait. Till the next time, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Till the next episode, see you later.